going on, guys? Lots gonna change now, okay? Um, I ran out of that sports book. I ain't got a friend, guys. And, you know, I'm gonna keep it 100. Ran out of sports book. You know, I literally, I was looking around at these losers that look just like me. You know, you got people that were literally walking around itching their neck at the sports book, like, oh my God, like, you know, like, like wondering if they can, like, like hit a, a parlay, like, you know, digging change out of their pocket to pay for parlays. I'm like, nah, bro. And then when I'm walking around at a casino, you know, to go to the bathroom or whatever, I see people and I got the slot machine, like, like, like miserable because they lost all their money and they don't know how they're gonna pay their rent and eat. So like a few hours ago, guys, you know, I ran out of that casino because, you know, I got, I got it even and I said, I'm out. Because um, I'm like, this ain't for me. Because the only reason why I was there is Thursday, I dropped off, you know, my cousin to the airport and I was supposed to like take a two hour nap and drive back on Thursday. But I decided to stay because um, I saw red with DoorDash and all that. And I'm like, you know what? I can make money with DoorDash and Spark tomorrow. I know the Spark pays more in LA, which it does, but it's more work. And then the next day when I woke up to start, it was trash can. So I panicked because remember, I already missed four out of the past eight days of working because of freaking, you know, being a taxi driver, uh, which, you know, all love my cousin, but, you know, taxi driver. So I wasn't able to work. So I was panicking, thinking I could sports bet to try to make and recover that money. But then I had to, like, when I'm in that sports book, I, when I, before I ran out, I'm thinking to myself, dude, you only lost out on six days this year. Six days this year, and you made a lot of money on New Year's Eve. You made money on, uh, a little bit of money on New Year's Day. You know, you got this money that's about to hit. You're good. So, you know, I um, thought about it and I was like, why am I even doing this today? I can just leave, you know, so I can be ready to work tomorrow. So I just ran out of there and I left Vegas and I drove back here and I didn't even stay the night. I had the room till the morning, but I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna stay. I wanna be tempted. So I find myself right now, I'm in LA again. I'm actually 33 minutes from my, my apartment. And yeah, um, the gambling, sports betting, all their days are over. You know, I might do, you know, March Madness for fun, but I'm not doing it for profit no more. I'm not doing it to try to hit a leg or nothing. Like if I ever think I want to make some money, I need to make money and pay my bills. It ain't gonna be with, excuse me, I'm kind of tired guys. It ain't gonna be with um, sports betting or gambling, it ain't. Because you're never gonna win in the long run and I wanna end up like those um, losers that were at the um, sports book. Now, let me tell y'all this. 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Yes, guys, I'm gonna take a day off here and there. But I'm gonna put this grind in. I'm gonna like grind it out. You know, you gotta remember, I was my happiest per self. Mind you, I'm talking about without having my kids. I'm talking about me, self, being by myself. Happiest since Vegas, um, four weeks ago or three weeks ago. You know, when I was like working those long hours every day, I was in routine, I was taking my medication at the same time, I was eating at the same time, everything was on point. I was good. But when I, you know, my family came, I'm happy they came, you know, it was all love. I went to see my cousin before she goes to the military. But me driving her around and all that, it, it disrupted my sleep, not just my sleep schedule, but my freaking work schedule. And it threw me off. That's the reason why when I was cussing out that person that I've used, I called the C word, which I apologize for, that was the reason why. I was very, very upset and mad at myself because I set myself back. Like, I, I, like financially, I wasn't able to work. So now, you know, um, me getting out of there, I'm gonna make up for all that money I lost the hard way. I'm gonna just do these 12 hours, seven days a week and grind it out. Now, I know a lot of y'all are still in the comments talking about go get an engineering degree or go learn how to do a skill, whatever. Look, guys, I'm not doing nothing but what I'm doing right now because, you know, a lot of y'all are, are suggesting things that I know y'all know that more than likely I can't do. And then a lot of y'all are just miserable and you'd rather me, like, settle for what y'all would settle for than what I want. And then the other of you are showing love, being positive. I appreciate y'all for the suggestions. Um, next year, I may take y'all up on some of those suggestions. But you have three type of people in my chat, in my comments, okay? Which one are you? Let me know in the comments below, which one are you? Are you the suggesting person? 
that's telling me to go get a skill that they know I can't go get, or you're the person that want me to settle for what you settle for, or you're the person that's showing love, trying to you know just encourage me to do something. Great, you let me know. But here's back to the situation in hand. So, um, you know, 12 hours every day, you know, at least 300 times, 300 days this year, here's the game plan. I want y'all to remember, guys, I get it. There's gas, there's car expenses, there's everything involved. I get that. Huh. I'm over yelling, guys, I'm sorry, I'm tired. But there's all that stuff involved. But you gotta remember, I don't care, I'm gonna do it. Because guess what, if I gross, you know, 100,000 this year, then guess what? I'll make more than enough to pay all those expenses and still make more than I would make at a regular job, you know? Um, and that's the key thing. And my hustle is not like y'all hustle. I'm okay with the 12-hour hustle. I'm gonna finally do it. And you know, you can call me the laziest rideshare driver of 2022 and 2023, because it's the truth. You know, I had a couple of good moments in 2022, but other than those couple two good moments, you know, a couple good weeks, I've been lazy. Like being out in California, I probably only had two weeks that I made, I did over 50 hours, 60 hours. That's terrible. Let's keep it a buck, that's terrible. Now I might've been in a car, but I was like maybe taking a nap, I had the app off and I was tired. You know, it was just excuses, you know? So now, th that those days are over. Now we're about the money. Now we're about to um, push, we're about to kick ass. We're gonna make it happen, okay? We're gonna make it happen now, guys, because um, everything's gonna change. Actually, I won't even say it's gonna change. It's gonna be enhanced because we already got there. It's just, we got, you know, sidetracked with, you know, the days that I couldn't work because of my family. And you gotta remember, even with the days that I was able to work, it was a bad time. Like New Year's Eve, I should have worked and started earlier, but I had to take, you know, I was taking my, my cousins, you know, take them a couple places. And, you know, bottom line is working early for me does not work. I gotta work later. So, you're gonna see more later hours. I just gonna keep yawning. And then on this YouTube channel, you're gonna see more of um, the daily videos. So daily nightcap videos. I'm gonna discuss how my day went, how much I made, show you how to app, talk about some experience that I dealt with, and we're gonna do that. And then my YouTube channel is gonna be more polished, guys. And I'm not talking about a professional level. I'm talking about you're gonna see a scheduled, um, not live, but video posted at certain times every day. That way I can get the algorithm pushing it, you know, because if you show consistency, then they'll push you a lot more than being inconsistent and put post at random times. Lives, even though I like to rock with the people that's been on the lives the past few weeks, they're draining, they're tiring, and it gets boring sometimes for me. Because you gotta understand, I'm a detailed thinker. And sometimes the topics be like super basic, that they be putting me to sleep. So, you know, we're not gonna happen to me in lives right now because the lives don't do money. They don't bring in new viewers. They're literally just for people that like lives. So we're gonna do some of those, but not all like that. That's, I know y'all see me fight and sleep. I'm almost there, I'm about 33 miles away. So yeah, that's what I wanted to tell y'all. That's stuff they want to give y'all. So once again, we'll leave it there. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit the like button on your way out. Uh, more updates coming tomorrow. But yeah, I want to tell y'all, yeah, I left, I left Vegas, I ran out of the casino, and now we're um, about to go and um, head back to the house, go get some rest. Appreciate y'all. I'm out, peace.